Mm. Oh. Oh. Welcome to another edition of the Blazing Beard Bulls Blog. A huge win, Bulls fans. And yes, the Blazing Beard was wrong, so shut my mouth. I can admit when I was wrong. I was doubting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I was I was doubting a little bit, but uh, but the Bulls with a huge win in Memphis without Taj, without Rose, and let's be honest here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, that's right. Let's be honest, B. Fed. Uh, Jimmy is that player. Now, last night, Charles Barkley, you know, he's smoking crack. Who knows what the hell he's doing? Said a lot of things about Jimmy not being that guy. And you know what? He's been okay this year. He's been great this year. But has he been the guy that's going to take over a game when the other supposed best guy is out and when your best bench player is out? I don't know. But yes, Jimmy, I, the whole time the, during the game, I was like, if we win, if we win, if we win, if we win, then it's going to be huge for Jimmy. And yes, without a doubt, huge game for Jimmy Butler. He can put this team on his shoulders. That's right. Mm, 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 Blazing Beard says, oh, pay Jimmy Butler, pay Jimmy. Mm, uh, oh, yeah, the fives are hitting the ground like nobody's business tonight. Now, how many white guys do they have on the Memphis team that are named Clufus, Cletus, Caphus? I, I have no idea, but please, it's getting to be a... It was getting to be kind of crazy, you know, like seven foot bald guys named Clefus. There's at least like 10 of them. I know there wasn't, like two of them went out of the game with injuries. Anyway, hey, uh, uh, let me say that uh, for once the announcers for the other team were really good. I had to listen to the Grizz broadcast instead of uh, Stacey and Neil. That's right. Uh, and they were good. They were fair. They were complimentary to the players. They knew basketball. They didn't complain. Uh, they were fair both ways. So uh, they get props. Maybe the second best uh, besides our boys that I've heard all year long. Jimmy, 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 you're my man. Jimmy, Jimmy, Coco Pops. Bah, bah, bah. Miritich is going to be huge in the playoffs. He has a lot of experience. He does not back down from a, a challenge or a high moment. And every time they got within four or six points, he hit a three-pointer. He is going to be huge. Aaron Brooks is definitely going to be huge. Um, but now we're starting to see that we do have depth without Taj, without Rose, with Noah sitting on the bench with fouls and limited minutes playing on a hurt ankle. Somebody take Joaquin Noah out of the game and rest him for a few games. You could call it flu. You could call it sexual chocolate for all I care. But take Joaquin out and give him a rest on the ankle. Yeah, remember this is the Blazing Beard Bulls blog. We're all over the web. Please subscribe, find the vids, check out the other ones, and uh, yeah, you know, uh, you'll see me again whoosh, if they don't find me first. And hey, interesting stats. 10-0 uh, and 11-0 and when leading at the half, and now four out of five in the second night of a back-to-back. -back. And we have, without a doubt, the hardest schedule on back-to-backs. Easy the first night, hard the second. And the reason I doubted that we might beat Memphis is because we played down to teams like New York last night. And if we're shorthanded tonight against a team that's 20-4, and four, I thought we might get thumped because we've been a little lazy. But great win, Bulls. Go Bulls, go Bulls fans. Peace out, Blazing Beer. That's right, Jimmy Butler's gonna make it rain in Chicago.